if you're one of those people that needs to have your lawn aerated in the fall or in the spring, or if you're somebody like me and you've constantly got excavation projects going on in your yard and you're ripping stuff up and moving stuff and things like that, you're going to end up with a broken wire sooner or later. So what's the best way to avoid this? Well, of course, the best way to avoid it is to mark out the wires before you even start any of those projects. Now, you're probably wondering, well, how am I going to figure out where this wire is at when it's underground? Well, in this episode of Automower Answers, we're going to show you how to use the mower to help you locate where your wires are buried at underground. Now, before we get into that whole process, we want to recommend that you go check out our new Robotic Mower Services YouTube channel and subscribe. The video that shows all the information on how to do this process has already been up there for uh, a little while, along with several other how-to videos and things of that nature. The channel is dedicated completely to Automower, so it's really easy to find everything you're looking for, all the DIY stuff, the uh, how-to stuff that we keep posting. Uh, we got playlists for the certain models and things like that, so check it out. Be sure to subscribe, and um, you'll find all kinds of good information on there. Now, it doesn't mean we're going to stop putting stuff here on this channel. We're just going to make it easier for you to find it on that Robotic Mower Services channel rather than being mixed in with everything else that we have on this one. All right, so now we got that out of the way. Back to locating your wires underground. Now, this is good information to know because it's going to save you a lot of time in repairs. It's going to save you a lot of money in repairs. If you're out there excavating, you cut your wire in several places, or even worse, if you have somebody come in and aerate your lawn, that wire is going to be like Swiss cheese. It's just going to have to be replaced. It's going to have cuts in it every couple inches, and there's going to be no point in trying to fix it. So that can be a, a pretty costly or a pretty time-consuming um, operation there if you got to replace all your wire. So without further ado, here is the information on how to use the mower to help you locate your wires underground, courtesy of our Robotic Mower Services YouTube channel. We hear the question asked pretty often of how do you find out where your wires are at, you know, if they're buried in the ground, uh, pertaining to your boundary wires and guide wires and all that stuff. You know, if you have some kind of construction going on in your yard, you're adding a swimming pool, flower beds, planting some trees, whatever, or, um, you know, in the fall, this is pretty common. People ask that because they're going to have, they're going to have somebody come in and aerate their lawn for them. So we're going to show you the easy way to find where your wires are at. Um, as long as your boundary wires and guide wires are in good shape and you have a solid green light uh, and you have to have, have good guide wires too, that's really important. So if you want to swap your guide wire with a boundary wire just to make sure you still have a green light when you do that. That'll... So we decided to take a time out right here and shift gears and add in a little video showing you how to swap a guide wire with a boundary wire to make sure that you know your guide wire system is okay before you go trying to find that buried guide wire in the ground using the mower. So here's what we're talking about and this is the simple process to see if your guide wires are okay before you try searching for them. In order to use your mower to show you where your wires are at that are buried in the ground, you have to make sure that your boundary wires and your guide wires are in good operating condition. And an easy way to do that, to just get a rough idea if they're all good or not, is to check the LED in your charging station. You can see here ours is nice and bright green. So that means that our boundary wire system is in good shape and it's working properly. Now, to test your guides, obviously on some of the mowers they do flash a different light if the guide wire is broken, but 300 and 400 series, they don't do that, so... What you're going to do is just come here to the back of your charging station and we have we only have one guide wire hooked up on this one but um, what you're going to do is unplug your one of your boundary wires it can be either one and then unplug your guide wire and take the guide wire and plug it into the boundary wire spot that you just unplugged now you just created a whole new loop section between your guide wire and your boundary wire that you left connected there. So then just come to the front of the charging station, solid green light, that means everything's good to go. If you had plugged that guide wire in 
and you get this, then obviously you know that that guide wire is bad because you had solid green before that, meaning that your boundary wire that was still connected was good the whole way around. And the only thing that you changed was added the guide wire to that, that circuit. So just make sure to plug your wires back in where they belong. Plug our guide wire back in, our boundary wire back in, and green light. And then we can go ahead with this procedure and get the mower to show us where our wires are at buried in the ground. All right, so now that everybody's on the same page and all up to speed, we now take you back to your regularly scheduled program already in progress. But you know, your, your guide wire is in good shape. But um, what you're going to do when you know your wires are good and getting signal through them is you're going to go to your mower, have it in a charging station, and you're going to go under menu. And the first thing you need to do is come down here to installation that's the arrow pointing down the grass blades and you need to go down here to advanced and in here whatever wire it is that you want to mark out you need to change the corridor width on it so you have corridor width highlighted there we'll hit ok and we're going to look for guide wire one so guide wire one the corridor width is at nine you want to make sure to remember that you know write it down or whatever you got to do but when you have the wire that you're looking for that you want to mark out highlighted, hit OK. And then that number will flash there. Then that wire, you want to set that corridor width to zero. This is going to make the mower track basically right on top of that wire. So then hit OK. And back. And then you want to go back again. Now we're going to go up to lawn coverage. And in here... If you have, I'll turn it on here just to show you. Uh, if you have GPS mowing on, you're going to need to disable that. So it's going to be highlighted if it's already on. You know, I just want disable GPS navigation. Yes. Now, if you don't have an area set up, it's okay. Um, let me again here show you how that would look. Okay, so if you have an area set up, you're good to go. If you don't have an area set up, it's no problem. On area one or whatever area you know that the wire you're looking for goes to, you just come, come up there to the top, highlight that one. Um, you can find all this stuff on your app uh, as far as which wire does what area. But you can also go through and say you have area one, you got guide wire one, you can always change that to whichever by pressing the over buttons there. So this one here, we had nothing set up and we're gonna use guide wire one because that's the wire we wanna find. So we wanna make sure that's highlighted. And then we're gonna come down here to, we're gonna bypass all that. If you already have settings for all that stuff, it's no problem, don't change them. If you don't have any settings for that because you're using GPS mowing, you don't have to worry about it either. Just come down to more. This is the important part. You wanna to get to more and you want to be on the wire that you're looking for and then hit OK. And then you'll see test is highlighted and then you want to hit OK again. Then it's going to tell you the hit start. And at the top, you can see now it says test out instead of main area being at the top, test out and hit OK. Now close the hatch to start. Now what will happen is the mower is going to back out of the charging station and it's going to swing around here and it's going to lock on to that guide wire or whichever wire it is you want it to follow. And you can see it's just going to follow right on top of that wire. And you can tell because we just ran this wire, it is following right on top of it. So you can go right behind the mower planting your little flags in or with a can of spray paint and just mark that line and that way you'll know where it's at so if somebody comes in to aerate or somebody comes in to dig up the ground or you think that you want to you know move this guide wire some somewhere for some reason or uh, you know a boundary wire you're looking to find a boundary wire this is the way to do it the mower is going to tell you right where it's at it's going to track right over top of it 
and then all you have to do is just pry down in there with a screwdriver or something and pull up on that wire now you can see the the track we have here because like i said we just ran this wire today so we could um, show you how this works and it's just going to follow right around right down through the trail here so this is the simple way to get your mower to tell you where your boundary wires and your guide wires are at and get them marked out so you don't take any chances of uh, having a cut wire when um, they come in to do any kind of work in your yard. And now when we finally get to the end here, I'll show you, you know, this is beneficial for another reason too, when you're setting up these different areas and zones. So we'll let this thing just track on out here. It's going to go down over the hill and through the woods and halfway to grandmother's house before we get to the end of it. But Bear with me, it's worth the, it's worth the time. <laughs> so now we're coming down into an area that's, this is getting pretty far away from the charging station. And we've got a bunch of obstacles to go through, a bunch of openings. Um, you can see here, there's, there's two trees here that this has to go through, and there's another tree right here that it passed around by. So if you're setting your mower up for the first time and, and you want to use the zone system to get started, then this is how you would figure out how far your mower needs to go from the charging station to start at a remote location like this. Now we're getting pretty close to the boundary wire there, but this is, uh, this is an area where we'd want this mower to start because it's, it's coming through all these trees and everything and all these islands and stuff to get down here. And has to zigzag around so this is a good spot we're gonna hit the stop button and then we'll put in our pin code and a little tough to see there but 42 mil or 42 meters that was the distance that it just traveled from the charging station and it gives you the option to save that if you save that it is going to set that as the distance for your area that you're just trying to set up. So you don't have to go out there with a measuring wheel. You don't have to, you know, walk it and then say, well, I think that was about as far as it was, you know, or try to do, if you don't have your, uh, if you don't have your, your mower set to um, imperial measurements, you don't have to try to figure out, you know, how many feet are in 42 millimeters or I mean, 42 meters or anything like that. It's real simple. Let the mower do the work for you. So now it just, it just completely told you where your guide wire was at and it would do the same for the boundary wires and it just measured how far it is from the charging station to this point so if you're going to replace your wire your guide wire um you know let's say you want to upgrade it to the new heavy duty wire there you go you're going to know how much wire you're going to need in your system so this is a pretty handy tool to use um, very simple to get into. Now, we, we showed you here for the purpose of finding your wire in case of any excavation, but you know that's an added benefit there for when you're setting your mower up. When you go in there and change your corridor settings, you want to go back after you're all done and change that back. And to do that, it's real simple. Menu and installation and OK. And then back down to advanced. And, oops, sorry, it was at the top there. Corridor width. And you want, we, we were looking at guide one, so you want to go to guide one, hit OK. And we're going to change that back to nine. And once it's on nine, we're just going to go back. And after you do all this and you mark everything out, if you were using GPS mowing or, um, you know, you only had two zones and now you've got these extra ones that you were, you were playing around with to try to figure out where your wires are at. Let's go back into lawn coverage and you can change everything here again. Um, we're going to go back to GPS mowing and all you have to do is come down here, highlight enable GPS mowing and hit OK. And you're back to where you were before. So now we'll go back, start, OK. And our mower is ready to go back to work. Okay, so one more time here. This time we'll show you um, how to follow out the boundary wire just to make it clear. We're going to go to Menu, Installation. That's this one right here. Hit OK. I'm going to come down to Advanced, Corridor Width, 
and boundary that's the one that you want so we're going to hit OK and again we're going to change this to 0 oh, one's as low as we can go into boundary sorry so we're going to change that to 1 because it can't follow outside of the boundary it's going to follow right next to the boundary wire so now we're at 1 we're going to go back go back again now we want long coverage we have GPS mowing on it's highlighted here to disable it we're gonna hit OK to disable it then we're gonna highlight yes hit OK uh, we already have an area one in there and rather than disturbing anything I mean you can use area one to go down and change that to left boundary wire if you want um, but since you have these other ones open like in this case here we're gonna do area two okay and we want left for the left boundary wire we're going to come down through all this other stuff go to more highlight more hit okay and then test and start test out so we want to hit okay and close the hatch to start here comes the mower out of the charging station going to creep on over there till it locks on to that boundary wire now normally a boundary wire is pretty easy to find because it's usually you know about a, a foot or so away from any obstacles or anything like that uh, so that's not too bad but you can see right here you can see where our little trenches out there where a wire was put in the ground it's gonna get real clear here in a second right there you see that seam that's where our wire is at so that's how close when you set this down to one on the corridor setting for the boundary that the mower will follow to that wire so that gives you a really good idea you know this is something that uh, is very useful in the springtime when you go out to edge your flower beds because this will help you find the wire before you go digging in there and end up cutting the wire and don't know which flower bed it was that uh, you, you cut the wire on. So you can just do something as simple as this and let the mower track on around on the, uh, on the boundary wire. We got our 450X back in the charging station here. We just used it to follow out our um, left boundary wire so we could mark it, know where it was at underground. So now we need to set everything back to where it was and we're going to go in here to menu we're going to come across again to installation hit okay and we're going to go down to advanced okay and oops we want corridor width right there at the top um we're at one remember so it would travel right next to the the boundary wire uh, and on a guide, remember, you want to do zero, but on the boundary, you can only go down as low as one. So we need to set that back to six. So with boundary highlighted, we're going to hit OK. The one is going to flash, and we're going to hit six. To save that, we're just going to hit the back button. Now we're going to get back out of there. We're going to go into lawn coverage. And um, we were using area two to test that, whichever area you're using it. Um, you want to set everything back there as well if you were like us and you're using GPS navigation Then you just want to come back down here highlight enable navigation and okay, and now you're using GPS navigation Go back out of that back out of that to your menu screen. It's saved hit start main area Okay, and now the mower is ready to mow again so there you have it. That was the process that you can use to use the auto mower to help you find your buried guide wires and boundary wires. Pretty easy if you let the auto mower do the work for you. You just got to know how to tell it to do it. But that's going to do it for this video. Um, if you have any more questions or comments, shoot us an email, roboticmowerservices at gmail.com. Also, if you're looking for parts for your auto mower, Send us an email, roboticmowerservices at gmail.com with your model number, serial number, and let us know what it is that you're looking for. 
So that was the process there. Uh, I know it was a lot to take in and we showed you a couple extra things like how you can use that same process to measure a distance to get out to a certain zone that you want to set up or if you want to replace your wire, you know, you can use that as a good calculator for how much wire you need. Uh, the important thing to remember is your wires have to be in good shape and functioning to be able to use this feature. So if you already cut the wire, it's too late to use this procedure. <laughs> so, um, Hopefully this saves you a lot of time and a lot of headaches in the future. And um, if you don't remember the whole process or the procedure to do all this, don't worry. It's here available on this channel and it's also available on the Robotic Mower Services channel. Well, that does it for this episode of Automower Answers. And as always, if you haven't subscribed to this channel already, please do so. And if you haven't subscribed to Robotic Mower Services, uh, that channel, be sure to do that too, because there's a lot of information on there and there's going to be a lot more coming in the future. So, all right. Thanks for watching.